Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Guys, we're going to do one here from Lost Grove Brewing. These guys are in Idaho. Uh, this was sent to me by Neil. This, I think this is the second beer mile package he has sent to me. Uh, this is an American IPA, 6.5% with 65 IBUs. It says it on the front here, and it's also got the IBUs listed on the back. It does have a can on date, and it said this one was put in the can on 4 17 of 20. Five, six, seven, today is the 23rd, so it's just a tad past three months. I wish it had been a little fresher than that, but it is what it is when they're sent to me, guys. Uh, I have no control over that whatsoever. This one probably been a little tastier in the first month that was in the can than it's going to be now, to where it's three, a little past three months old. But I do appreciate him sending it to me. I haven't had it before, so we're going to judge it for what it is. If, if it's a 10 beer, I'm going to tell you that. And if it's a not a 10 beer, I'm going to tell you that. It doesn't make any difference whether I purchased it or it was sent to me. I, I try to be as honest as I can and I won't hurt anybody's feelings. And I do appreciate what is sent to me. But I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Uh, uh, these beers that are past their prime. Probably going to be a little maltier than it probably should be, but we shall see. Some keep well, some some keep well better than others. So we shall see what this brings to the table. Uh, over to Untapped. They say unfiltered, smoothly hoppy, frothy foam. So that's all we need to talk about. So let's get this 12 ounce can opened up and get it into the glass. Stand it up here, and then we're going to swirl it around. It says it's an unfiltered beer. It's got a little bit of a haze to it. But it doesn't look like a New England style. It's not claiming to be. Make sure we get all the goodies out of the can. Okay. All right, about a finger and a half of head on that pour. It has got a slight haziness to it. It does look like an unfiltered, but. Over to the light, I can see light through the thin part of the glass, not so much through the big part. Just a little bit through that. Nice looking beer, what do you think? To the nose we go. And it doesn't say, uh, it says here, brewed with four varieties of hops, our finest, slight up here, hop four with robust and juicy character, and well rounded bitterness. Don't be shy, get out of your chair, grab a pint, and fall in love at first sight. Doesn't tell us what the hops are. A little bit of citrusy pine, a little bit of maltiness. Like I said, this would probably have been a little tastier, a little more hoppier in the first month it was in the can now that it's past three months. And that's about all I'm getting, guys. I stop in. Cheers. Cheers, Neil. Thank you. Very smooth, very easy drinking. Alcohol is well hidden. It tastes a little maltier than I prefer my IPAs to be. But it is what it is. Uh, just a little heavy on the maltiness to me. But if I've used four different varieties of hops, uh, this seems like a transitional beer to me, guys, even though it's a six and a half percenter. Uh, the hops aren't standing out to me. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is one of his favorites that he likes to drink, uh, but uh, not enough hop profile for this guy. So we're going to sip on this right out of the fridge, and we'll come back and do the final chug and grape. All right, guys, I'm back. i sipping on it close to an hour now. Uh, it's definitely up to room temperature. There's a little bit of lacing left on the glass. To me, guys, uh, it's, it's a decent beer, but it's not outstanding or world class. Uh, it's a little heavier on the maltiness side. I uh, don't know if it had been that way the first month it was in the can, but right now <clears throat> it's a little too malty for this guy. So, uh, But I do appreciate Neil sending it to me. Let me try it. I just wish it would have been just a tad fresher than this one is. So, final joke.
Very easy drinking alcohol is well hidden. Very nice glass thing is popped on the glass. To me, guys, it's a beef beer, and that's what I'm going to give it. Uh, it's 85, but that's where I'm going to put it. Over to Beer Advocate. Not enough people have commented on this. Uh, one, two, three. Only three people have commented, and they're all in the threes. So, uh, pretty much beef beer there. And over to Untap, they have it at 3.65. That's also in their B range. So, Basically unanimous. It's a bee beer. So maybe it wouldn't be a lot hoppier fresh. I don't know. Maybe some of these guys have had it fresh. I don't know. So that being said, if you've had First Sight IPA from Lost Grove Brewing, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.